Hey, hey, once again, you have fallen straight into Hell of Vela. This is Azriel Lawless, and here for here with another Lawless interview today with author Dorinda Collins. Say hi, Dorinda. Hello. <laughs> of course, she's one of my fellow authors out on the great new reading platform, uh, Kindle Vela, where you can read great epic stories one short episode at a time um dorinda uh, i read your vela so i know i know all about it so i'm not gonna i won't spoil it for anyone i'm gonna ask you all the questions walk you through it even though i have read it and could hijack this interview and talk about how good <laughs> it is myself but <laughs> thank you <laughs> instead i'm gonna ask you questions first and I don't know the answer to this um when did you start writing actually it would be probably as a child I've been writing since I was a little girl just poems and little short stories um, but I really got into it in college uh, my major was uh, media communications with a concentration in creative writing so oh. I wrote a lot there Oh, very cool. Very cool. So you went, went to college and you did a lot of writing in college. Mm -hmm. um, what else have you published out there besides in Vela? So it's, you've been writing pretty consistently and you're an educator. I know that. Yeah. A lot of educational materials, uh, things for children, as far as phonics, reading, writing. I've published a few workbooks, um, but my creative writing, I kind of stopped doing it for a little while. I just focused on raising my family and taking care of, uh, you know, kids at school. And then I finally sat down and said, you know what? I know what's missing. Like something, I just couldn't put my finger on it, but it was writing. So I picked it up again and here I am with Faith and Falsehoods. Oh, very, very cool. Well, I was going to ask then, when did you hear about Kindle Vela and how did you hear about Kindle Vela and how'd you get into it? Kindle Vela. I've always been a Kindle reader, um, but Vela was new to me. I joined all these Facebook groups for writing just to get inspired and connect with other writers. And I saw a lot of people saying, you know, there's something new coming out called Kindle Vela. And I checked it out and I said, you know what, this is something I could do. I kind of in my writing, I write epics, you know, like an episode anyway, you know, um, not like a chapter, but almost every episode has like a little cliffhanger. So I said, this is right up my alley. So I decided to give it a chance. And I've met a lot of great people and read a lot of great stories here on Kendall Bella. Yeah, indeed. You were the very first story that I read. Faith and Falsehoods was the very first story that I read when I found Bella in September. So you okay. must have been but you were in the very early episodes back then, but so August. you must have been in August, August. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you had a month on me. Okay. That's yeah. why you had, <laughs> I'm glad maybe... you found me. <laughs> it must have been well, faith. <laughs> well, yeah, I found you and I found Hoyt in the okay. same week, Hoyt Halford, who writes the dark family secrets. Mm -hmm. yeah. with the with the choppers the teeth and that's and, and why I brought it up was I found you the same way I found him which was from the image oh okay that does the draw you in cover is what drew me in to both of you guys and then I just kept reading and wound up you know we became friends you know and uh so and we've you know, I've kept in touch this whole time and Hoyt and I have, you know, we don't talk very much anymore. It's kind of like okay. you and me, we're, you know, we're busy. Yeah. But uh, yeah. when it, we smile, when we see something in our inbox from each other, so, <laughs> that's you know, true. anymore, <laughs> that's a good friendship. Right? <laughs> like I said, we meet, you meet a lot of interesting and nice people right here on Vela. I mean, the writers are so supportive, you know, and amazing. So it is I really appreciate the platform for at least bringing me some good friends like you. <laughs> I'll listen to you. Well, but I want to know what's Faith and Falsehoods about? Okay. Faith and Falsehoods started for me in college. It was actually a screenplay I was writing. And I had about maybe, well, maybe a few scenes done and I put it away. And one night I woke up and I pulled it out and started reading again. And I said, you know what? This is going to be my first fellow. So it's about a group of women who are going through challenges. Um, some will get out of it by faith and some of them will come to some truths 
and that's the falsehoods part. You're going to discover that these women have a lot of secrets that they're hiding, and um, there's going to be a lot of discovery. So they're going to need some type of faith to get through it. <laughs> that's what I sure. see. I see. <laughs> I see. One face we show the world, and another we show the only the mirror. <laughs> That's true. But yeah, the ladies are all, uh, they're all interesting in their own little way. They have a way of keeping their secrets and some not so much. <laughs> yes, yes. And I love it. And it's so well written. Uh, you do have, you're a very talented writer. I do, mm -hmm. do love the way that you write. Um, so how many episodes in are we now on Faith and Falsehoods? 18. 18. 18th episode. Do you know how many episodes you're going to have, or are you pantsing this and you, you aren't quite sure yet? I was thinking 27. Um, I think I'm pretty close to it being 27. I, I tried to follow the, the three acts and the nine chapters in or episodes in each act. So I think I'm going to end out on 27. Very I cool. have some other stuff I'm interested in working on too, so... I got some ideas. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And that was my next question. Do you have anything on the burner for bringing out in Vela that we haven't seen yet? I do. There's two genres I really want to tackle. And one is the um, the friends to lovers trope. So I kind of want to do something with that one. And then I have a young African princess who was uh, placed in America. And she is not sure how to navigate the dating and love life world in a, a foreign country. So that's mm. another one I have um, waiting to be written. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. So um, any idea when we might be seeing another one from you? I would say, let's see, we just started April. I'm thinking June, early June. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of one dimensional. I just got to focus on the one. If I get too many in the burner, I'm, I'm going to get lost. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. But but you know, and you still you still you've got you're you're an you're an educator. And so you're busy all the time. I am and I have these kids I homeschool as well. So I'm pretty busy. <laughs> oh, wow. You, you're homeschooling kids and wow. Yeah. Okay, and well, no, you don't have time. <laughs> You have no time, no time. I dream a lot though. So I'm starting to write them down so I can at least have them when I'm ready. <laughs> That's awesome. That yeah. is really cool. Um, I love it when stories come to me in dreams. You know, they, they're so vivid and it's they effortless. And I think they, they are the beginning of something good, you know, a good story. So got to write them down. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. The, the key thing for me is remembering them. I don't yeah. always remember them. Not for very long anyway. Yeah. And the details and the dreams are so vivid and you're like, oh, I hope I don't forget this. And I do. <laughs> 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 yeah. Gotta take good notes. <laughs> yeah. I always wind up forgetting too. So, well, so you've been out in Vela since August of mm -hmm. last year and, um, um, You've, you've done really well with faith and falsehoods. Uh, it's gotten a lot of buzz. I've seen, you know, and, and you've got a lot of reads. Yeah. So you've gotten some good traction on it. And um, then, of course, you know, the hope is to get picked up on that first page. Once you complete it, get picked up on that completed stories page. Um, that would be exciting. <laughs> that would be exciting. Haven't you been, haven't you been featured, though? You have been on the feature bar. I have. I've been on the featured part of maybe two times. I don't know how they come up with how they pick stories, but it was good to see myself there for a minute. <laughs> it was neat. It was neat. I remember it. It was very exciting. You know, as you said, the, the writer community is very good out here. So we all get excited for each other when we have we a feature bar. Like, ah. Well, you're, <laughs> you're excited for them and you're jealous at the same time. I'll go ahead and admit that. I, I will. I will. I keep it all in. I eat my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am a very, very uh, supported and supportive of all the writers here on Bella. Yes. yes. Very yes. good. We, we are. Um, it's a good group of people out there and a lot of voices that, 
you know, we wouldn't be hearing otherwise. Exactly. And I, I guess you're one of them. So you, you had written workbooks and things like that before, but your creative writing, you hadn't done anything in the publishing world with that. No. Um, until Vela. Until Vela. Vela right. was my first experience. And are you planning on taking Faith and Falsehoods into on into Kindle and selling it as a, a, a standalone novel there? Or are, are you going to write more? Are there going to be more seasons of Faith and Falsehoods with maybe different people or whatever? I do. My goal was to take it to uh, Kindle and possibly Kindle Unlimited. And then um, part of me feel like some of the characters are strong enough to break out into a different season on their own. So I'm still on the fence there. I'll know more towards the end of it, but I really do think that um, there's some good characters, especially like Chloe and Bella that can really probably stand on their own um, in a separate series. Most definitely, most definitely. So that's my vote. That's my vote, people. I vote, she takes it. <laughs> I vote she has at least three seasons out on Bella okay. for us. And that she takes each season and packages it up as a book and puts it out up on Kindle Unlimited for us. That is so that she'll have a triptych up there, you know, of faith and falsehoods. She'll have a yeah. trilogy and uh, we'll all have three great reads <laughs> and, uh, you know, and we can get it either one episode at a time on Kindle Vela or we can get it on Kindle Unlimited uh, when we go up there with our little Kindle. <laughs> That sounds like a plan. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, that indeed. will work. <laughs> so you are planning on taking it to book, and you probably don't know the answer to this, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Lots okay. of people are turning theirs into paperbacks and getting paper books made. Also, mm -hmm. would you do that? I think I would for a certain group of my readers, but a lot of people like things digitally. They like to go to their Kindle or their tablet or their device and read on the go. So I might, I might. I would like to hold it in my hand too at some point. So I, I think I might do at least um, some paperbacks as well. Well, you know, I'm not real clear on how any of this gets done, but other people that I have interviewed, um, I, I forget who I, I never remember who told me what, but. Mm -hmm. Someone, no, I think it's Tirza who's putting out, uh, she's got her paper books, but it's like print on demand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so, kind of what Amazon does with the KDP. Um, right. It's more of a print. That's what they did with my workbooks. It's more of a print on demand. So you don't necessarily have a stack of books sitting around waiting to be sold. Right. But yeah. Barnes and Noble also does it. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I have workbooks cool. with them as well. Yeah, they do too. And there's others. There's like a Lulu. I think they also do that Lulu publishing. Ooh. Lulu, L U L U. Oh, Lulu. Put on demand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Well, I just I didn't know. Yeah. I guess I'm just so geezed out. I didn't know. You know I how cool is that? Just, are going that way, so you don't have just a lot of books sitting around. So they kind of print it per order, is what what I'm understanding. So as you order it, there, there goes the books. <laughs> Is there a minimum order? No, there's not. You can order one book. So like there can yeah. be no, no stock of your book. Yeah, you can order, you order them at a time. Like uh, my workbooks, for example, um, I think I sold like maybe 60 in the first month and there's not like a surplus. So you do have to wait a little longer. They're not coming in two days but they get there within a week. So it's not, it's not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of what kind of a, what kind of a print outfit must that be? What must that take? Yeah, you know? I don't know. Yeah. I have no idea. I'd love to see it like on how it works. I think I'm going to look that up now. Now I'm going to oh. try to find out how print <laughs> on, demand, on demand works um, because I, I just, I hate for anything to be like, Oh, it's just a big fat mystery. Yeah, there, there's a couple of videos out there and they even tell you which, which ones have better quality as far as the paper and how it feels and how your cover feels. So it's some interesting videos out there about it. Very nice. See, I yeah. always learn. I always learn <laughs> from everyone I talk to. I learn and, and I love that. Um, 
So, okay. So back to putting you on the spot. Let's see. Um, what else can I do? What else can I? Okay. So you've, you've been out there reading. You read mm -hmm. Kindle Vellas too. I know you do. I do. I do. And uh, so I'm going to ask you uh, to give us a couple recommendations of good ones that you think are okay. good. And I, ju I just want to say people, <laughs> she does read my stuff too. <laughs> And, uh, and I love it, <laughs> but, but I'm not going to let her give that as one of her recommendations. I told her now. So anyway, so la di da. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I read a lot of Vela. I read a lot in general. Um, yes. I love, love reading. Um, but Vela, I like to come back. You know, I like the leave for a couple episodes, come back. I, I like the, uh, cliffhangers pretty much at the end of each episode it's kind of my type of uh stories like I like to watch those that have an ending that makes you want to come back you know so yes. there's been some very good ones some some uh, velas that I never would have stumbled upon um if it wasn't you know for the community for the vela community right. some very good stories but some of my favorites I have um I have a few including yours <laughs> <laughs> But I like um, I like the romance as well. So I like the Love Like Mine, A Second Chance by Jessica White. That's one I like. Love Like Mine mm -hmm. by Jessica and who? Jessica White. Okay. okay. And then I like Elizabeth Ellis. Uh, she does the Blackbird crime series. Um, no, Sherry. I'm sorry. Sherry Ann does the Elizabeth Ellis Blackbird. Right. Crime. Right. <laughs> yeah, and I do sure like uh, the recovery one too with uh, Andrew. Is it Andrew Hicks? Is it? It does the recovery. The Simple Thorn recovery. and the Rose. Or no, uh, you he want does to... do that one. Yeah, he does do that one. But he gives, uh, I think, his own story on a simple recovery. Simple uh, recovery. Mm -hmm. Oh, Andrew yes. Hicks. That one's yes. pretty good too. And uh, everybody, just like all the all the lawless interviews, these shout out links will be in the video description as well as links to Dorinda's material including her social media so simple recovery by Andrew Hicks now I knew he wrote that but it just didn't I don't know it didn't register for some reason I guess because it's nonfiction. Yeah, it is it is it's um it's a challenging story but he does it well it's good <laughs> that's awesome okay and um so that's it. Those are the three that you would recommend for us. And I'm very happy uh, to say that I know all of them. I know at least all the writers. Oh, um, good, Andrew good. Hicks, I know him from The Thorn in the Rose, which is his yeah. uh, fiction story. So I'll have to look at this simple recovery. And like I said, it, I knew that he'd done it, but it just didn't. It flew out the head. It flew out of the head. Uh, <laughs> what, what can I say? What can I say? So in general, are you, have you been happy with writing for Kendall Vela? In general, I have. I don't really have any complaints about Vela. Um, it's a new platform. I'm kind of glad to be at the beginning stages of it. And I, I see the changes, the slow changes they're putting to Vela. They're noticed um, the new polling that's out where you can have a, your audience poll. I really would like to see a little more interaction though with my readers. Um, where maybe they can message or I can message back or they can leave a comment that I can respond to. I would, I would love that. A little more interaction. But other than that, I think Vela has been a great platform and I think it's only going to get better. Yes, I think so too. I, I, and I was going to ask you if you could change anything, what would you change? But I think you just told me. Yeah, I would love to interact a little more with the readers, just, just to get to see what they're thinking. You know, I think the polling is a little step towards that. Um, you're giving them options, but at least you get to see where they want to go with you on this journey, like what direction you might want to go with. They might have some good ideas and good input. I haven't investigated the polling yet. Okay. So that is, what is that the, where readers are going to be able to select from a a select from set answers like hey mm -hmm. you know the writer can ask him hey do you like how the heroine is doing this this or this in this story and do you want her to go to college or do you want her to become a pole dancer or do you want her to right. become a you know so you can ask yeah. those sorts of questions and people can answer that yeah like my last episode um my question was 
should Rain be honest? Should she keep lying? Like, what direction should we go with Rain? Should she confess? So I gave three choices and you can give, uh, I don't know how many, but at least three. And then the audience can poll which one they, they find the most interesting. So to me, that's the beginning of getting a little feedback. But I'd like to see some more. <laughs> I, I, I like that. Some. And that's yeah. something we have right now. Yeah. Um, and I just, I just haven't looked at it because um, it we just got it a couple of days ago just to yes, be fair we just it got is it a couple new. Of days ago. <laughs> so I, those are the changes that I see and there's other changes that have been made you know throughout the Vela experience so I see that it's going to go in you know a very cool direction and I'm glad to be a part of it yeah me too me too and uh I can say I knew you win because I know you're going to do quite well out there <laughs> same thing I, I'll I listen to you <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't, uh, well, no, I, I was, I was going to say, I don't think any of us are going to get rich off this, but I, I think there, that some of us will. Some of us are on their way. <laughs> some of us are well, well on their way. Um, I'm not one. Yeah. Just, just know that, know that. Yeah, uh, you're not one yet. <laughs> yeah, not one yet. But, uh, you know, there are, there are others who are doing quite well out there. And yeah. it's very cool. And it's very encouraging. And, um, and uh, let's see. So what else was I going to ask you, Dorinda? Let's see. You may have, that may be it. The last no, question I, I, I need more time. <laughs> it, 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 it's just gone. It's gone very quickly. It, it seems like I've had you on here no time at all. Um, well, the last thing is, what would you like to say to the people who are going to click the links and go out and read your stuff. What would you like to say to them? I would like to honestly say thank you. Like I'm just a person sitting in behind a computer, getting out all these thoughts in their head. And I'm just so grateful that people are coming along for the ride. I really appreciate all of the readers. Thank you so much. Well, there you go. <laughs> this has been another Lawless interview. Thank you, Dorinda, for being on here, for taking time out of your day to join me here on Hello Vela. It's been wonderful. Thank you. Well, I appreciate it. Going to end up now. Bye, everybody. See you on the next one.